Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andrew and this is an AWS tutorial series on setting up your domain using Route 53. In this tutorial series, we'll go over pointing your name servers to Route 53, as well as setting up an A and C name record for your domain that will point to a simple Apache web server. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our DNS management. And inside here, we're going to create our hosted zone. And this hosted zone is going to be the domain name that you want to point to Amazon. And in this case, I have one called steadyplanning.com. Our type is going to be public hosted zone, but you could very well have a private hosted zone within your Amazon VPC. So let's go ahead and click create. Now, one thing we want to note here is our NS records. Now, these records are what you're going to use to take where you registered your domain. So in my case, I've registered my domain at fatcow.com, but you could have registered it at GoDaddy or any other provider. So what we're going to do is we're going to need these four values in our NS record, and we're going to copy them over where our domain is. So here's a screenshot from where I registered my domain on fatcow. You can see I'm using different name servers here, and I'm using the name servers that were provided in the NS record in Route 53. And one thing you'll notice too is that this may take up to 24 hours to propagate. So make sure you plan your domain switch accordingly. So now let's set up a simple Apache web server. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch an instance. And we'll just choose an Ubuntu server. A micro will be fine. And we'll name this Steady Planning. And we'll select a security group of all in and outbound wide open since it's just a demo. And we'll go ahead and launch this server. So now that our server is online, we're going to go ahead and log into it. And we are going to install uh, Apache. And basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to have the default Apache page. And we'll point our Route 53 setup to it just to see that we can verify that steadyplanning.com will go to that server. So what we'll do is we'll run a quick update and install Apache. And so now if I go to this public IP, we can see that we have the default Apache web page. So here you go. Welcome to Apache. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set up some records inside of our Route 53 to point to that server. So what we'll do is we'll go to Route 53. We'll go to our hosted zone. We'll select it. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new record set. And this first record set, we are going to use an A record. And we are going to set www.steadyplanning.com to our IP address. And we're going to click Create. And now we're also going to create uh, another alias record for steadyplanning.com without the www to point to our www. This way, anyone who hits it with a www or not, they'll go to the same target. So we'll go ahead and click create. And remember, these take a little while to propagate, so they won't be instant. And so the last thing I want to show you is how to create a CNAME record. So a CNAME record is just a record that you'll point a subdomain to that'll go directly to another domain. So in this case, we're going to do google.steadyplanning.com. We're going to select CNAME, and the value here is going to be a domain name. So we're going to do www.google.com, and we'll go ahead and click Create. And now what I'll do is I will go to these domain names and verify they all are working. So we can see if we hit steadyplanning.com that we are getting that default Apache page. And if we put in www.steadyplanning.com, we can see we have that landing page again. And if we put in google.steadyplanning.com, we should go directly to Google, and we do. So that concludes our tutorial on setting up your DNS using Route 53. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.